Okay, so let's um, let's solve this problem. Um, so basically, he just links to the problem somewhere else. I'm just going to read it. Um, it says, 16 L shapes like the ones below have been fitted into a rectangular shape. Each L has one hole, and there are four of each type in the rectangle. No two pieces of the same type are adjacent. Even at a corner, they fit together so well that the spaces between pieces do not show. From locations of the holes, can you tell where each L is? So we have four different types of Ls. Uh, they were not originally colored. That is uh, something that I did. I think it makes it a lot easier to tell when uh, you have two pieces of the same type that are adjacent if you can just kind of color them like that. Um, so, um, okay, so let's start off. I'm just going to give us the first one. Um, so the reason that I'm starting with this hole right here is because it's by a lot of other holes and it's also kind of near the edge, which uh, tends to eliminate a lot of possibilities. There's about 10 things that can go to this hole and a lot of them are pretty quick dead ends. So, um, so yeah, that's a good place to start. Now um, we're gonna see kind of how those dead ends work. So if we look at this cell, where can it go? It can't go to this hole because otherwise, you know, you get these three and it goes up or it goes down and that doesn't work either way. And there's no other way to um, link it to that hole. So we're going to, um, we're gonna try to link it to this hole uh, right here. So the first example of that is if we make that red because it's on, on the, it's a hole on the uh, foot is what I call it. So, um, now what happens is we have to put something here. Now we can't put red here, we can't do this, right? Because otherwise we have two reds next to each other. Um, and if we wanted to make it green, you know, that doesn't work and that doesn't work. So it can't be green either. And it can't be any other color because, you know, it's, it's a hole on the edge. So that doesn't work. So this, this cannot be joined to this hole with a red. So, Let's try joining it with a blue. So this doesn't work either because now this one here has um, has nowhere to go. So you have three in a row, but you don't have a fourth. There's no L shape you can put there. So that doesn't work. So this cell does not go to this hole. Um, the only other hole it can go to is this one, and it has to go to it. Uh, as a red L. Okay, and then pretty quick we can see that this has to go like this L shape. Let's draw it out because there's nothing else that can uh, get to that cell. Um, okay, and then again this has to be either red or green and we know that it must be green because um, and it has to go, it has to hook down and to the right. Uh, it can't hook to the left because there's a hole there. And that immediately gives us another one because this one has to be like this. And let's see, ah, uh, this one. This one has to be blue. That's pretty easy to see. Um, Okay, so this one. Um, now, if it were to go to that hole, we'd have to make it blue, but then we have two blue adjacents to each other, so that doesn't work. Um, so the only other hole it can go to is this one, it has to be yellow. And now we're going to kind of run up against something a little bit weird, because we don't know which way it goes. We don't know if it hooks to the left or to the right. If it hooks to the left, though, then the problem is this one has to be yellow as well because we have to get this cell to some hole, right? And it has to be that one, and so it has to be yellow, but that doesn't work because now we have two adjacent yellows. So we can't hook to the left, so we're going to hook to the right. Okay, and now this one has to go here. Um, so this has to be a red.
This is kind of a long problem, sorry. Kind of going over time. And now this has to be green because it has to go in there. Okay. So there's two possibilities for getting to this cell, and it's this hole and this hole. If we look at this hole, the problem is um, you try to hook down like that. You can't get this cell to any holes, so that's not going to work. So it has to be this, and so that's green. We're actually at three greens now, which means we only have one more. Um, and this cell has to go to this hole. Let's see. Um, and this cell also has to go to that hole, which gives us a corner, and it also tells us that it's blue. So. Um, these two cells have to go together because this can't go to any other hole, and this then also can't go to any other hole, so we have to go down like this, but we see that now we have an L shape like that because of the boundary. Okay, and this one has to go to that other thing, so that's going to be red. We've got three reds. Oh, we've got all four blues too. Um, and so that tells us, let's see, so, okay, so this can't be green, right? We can't do this, because that breaks the rules, because um, it's next to this other green. So, And uh, let's see, could we... So, so another thing that we could do here is we can make it yellow. Go up like that. Um, there is a way to, I guess, hook it up to that one, but that would make it blue. Um, if, if we had done this, but that is also a problem. Um, and we can't do that because that's a problem. Can't even do that because now we have four blues. Um, and so let's just go ahead and see what happens if we make this yellow. So we're going to make this yellow. And that tells us this one has to be red because, well, maybe not. It could go up like that, but then you've kind of caused some problems up there. But to Oh, well, yeah, so none, none of the other holes can even get to the cell, so it does definitely have to go left, and that tells us that it's red. So these two have to go together because this this cell here in the corner can't go to any of the other holes, so it's going to go up. And um, this cell has to go to that hole, and the only way to make that work is green. So there we go, and then that leaves the corner as yellow. There you go, there's the problem is solved. We can see that we have four yellows. Um, we can see that we have four reds, four blues, and four greens. Um, and none of them are touching each other, and they don't even intersect at a corner. So uh, that's, that's the solution to this problem. Um, there you go, I thought that was kind of a neat puzzle. All right.